Hey guys, thanks for watching. Really excited to have you watch this video. I think it's gonna make you a lot better at golf. Just by seeing this and being aware of a few things that our pro is gonna tell you today, Monty Scheinblum. How's it going, Monty? How are you? All right, so we're in the trees today for good reason. For one of the few times on the golf course where you actually mean to go in the trees for a good reason. So this video is all about Monty. I want you to tell and share, share with us the three shots that you see amateurs, if they could learn a few things about these shots and get better at these three shots, it would really eliminate those blow up holes and it would really keep them in better position because a lot of times amateurs can go from like par to double bogey real quick or they can go from birdie to bogey or worse real quick and everybody goes through the round and they think about man if i could just change three shots or so in my round that would be like a seven shot difference yeah see and and you know initially we discussed five shots and i said okay that's fine but these three are univer almost universal right. among golfers and um, that's why I wanted to just focus on these three. Number one is most golfers above the handicap of like maybe five or eight from 50 feet, they're making one mistake and it is ruining their, their proximity to the hole and creating three putts. 50 yards, 60 yard, 40 yard pitches to the green. Geez, over the handicap of plus one, the mistake is, is universal. And then, funny enough, the punch shot out of the trees and the technique that, that I promote on this also works on hitting the stinger iron shot, like long iron off the tee, or in flighting wedges. And again, everybody over the handicap of plus two almost universally makes the same mistakes. So we're in our first location. So you've hit a ball into the trees, and uh, Monty, you say you have a special technique. Well, I wouldn't call it special. I mean, you know. I just moved the ball and got, gave uh, myself a Two stroke penalty, penalty. <laughs> you're done. First of all, I can save myself two strokes by not doing that. Okay. okay, so almost universally, when golfers try to hit the ball low, they move the ball back in their stance, and then they try and de-loft it by chopping down on it. I'm gonna attempt that. Okay. okay. So the, the ball's back in my stance. Yes, way back in your stance. And I've got to keep it low under these trees going towards where that orange flag is. And I'm going to spring on this thing straight down on it. Okay, yeah. I see I that all day long. It, uh, all I, the time. I right? see that all day long. Yeah. So they either de-loft it so much that the ball doesn't get in the air and you top it like that. This is where my ball was. Right. I, I got a, you know, I started it the right where, like I, where this, the ball was. The divot's <laughs> like this long. Yeah, that right. way. So we're, we're gonna recreate kind of okay. a situation. So what's wrong with doing it that way? Okay, so what I'm about to, so how I promote to hit this shot, this is obviously my opinion. Yeah. What is not my opinion is how compression of the golf ball is measured, okay? Just because you're trying to keep the ball down doesn't mean you wanna compress this ball any less, okay? So compression is the um, relationship between the loft of the club at impact, the dynamic loft, and the angle of attack. Okay. Yep. So on the extremes, steep angle of attack, lots of loft. Could you, could you do this towards the camera? So, so, we're saying, so, yeah. so a steep angle of attack and then delivering lots of loft, that's gonna be a horribly, doesn't matter so, if you take a divot. So attack is like this, loft is like that. Correct, yeah. awful compression, okay? okay? Yeah. Whereas on the proper extreme, shallow angle of attack and less loft delivered. So angle of attack like this. More shallow. And, and loft like this. Correct. Yeah. That's how you compress the ball better. So bad, good. Right. Yeah. So when you've got the ball back in your stance, that will make you steeper. Mm -hmm. When the ball's back in your stance, it makes you steeper. That is not under debate with people that study this. Gen you know, it has the tendency to make you steep when the ball's right. back. And then obviously, when you're pulling down on the club, you're making it steep as well. So now all of a sudden, you're doing two things to massively steepen the angle of attack. You're not gonna get a proper strike on the ball. Right. So you're, basically, your two choices are deliver not very much loft, and you're so steep that you top the ball like you did, because you, 
you're just driving that thing straight down. Yeah. Or what a lot of people do is their brain reacts to all of this and says, no, 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 danger, yeah. danger. Yeah. And then it gets yeah. this at the bottom yeah. and then you pop it up into the tree. Let's not talk about what not to do. Let's, okay. all right, so, so I'm in the trees. What's a, what's, a, what's a better way to do it? Okay. I've had, and, and again, this is not just for punching out of the trees. You can use this technique to hit a low, long iron off the tee into the wind and flight your wedges. I call it the three lefts, okay? okay? So first of all, you want to play the ball more forward in your stance than normal. Okay. So even a little forward, okay? Yep. So now here come the three lefts. Put more weight on your left side, okay? okay? Now, when you take a backswing, our urge is to shift off of the ball. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't want to do that here. Okay, so this would be more to the left, and don't you want don't to do want that because yeah, right. now all of a sudden the ball's way forward. You're not going to get to it properly. So left. Okay, and then so that's can... left. So that's left number one. You're going to have the intent to shift left in the backswing. You won't. You'll still move. So we're not trying to get 80 or 90 percent of our pressure to the right side. We're about 60-40 left, 70-30 left, mm -hmm. and we're trying to get to about 50-50 at the top, okay? But the feel is stay left. Okay, yeah, so, so the ball's a little, is more forward in my stance than normal, not more forward in my stance than I would normally do right. a punch shot. But so this yeah. is a seven iron, and it's up a cut by- Yeah, like a three wood ball position. Correct. Yeah. So now you're gonna, you're gonna fix that by moving slightly left. Uh -huh. Now you're gonna make a backswing where you stay left, mm -hmm. then all you do from here is make your normal shift to the left and just hit it solid. You don't have to try and de-loft it. You don't have to try and chop down on it. Okay. So that's why I call it the three lefts. You so start left, a little left, stay you left, stay left, go left, and then go left. All that's right, tight. now, you don't want to use that much speed because speed creates okay. spin, right. okay? It's yeah. from here to here, uh -huh. okay? Okay. Doesn't matter if it's a wedge, a punch shot, or a stinger. From In here to here. Sense, left, stay left, go left. Correct. Okay, good. Excellent. Let's try that. Left, stay left, go left. Oh, Excellent. perfect. Yeah. Excellent. And again, you know, that is physically easier to do. Oh, yeah. Because you're so far forward, you know, mm -hmm and the ball so far forward, those kind of cancel each other out for the angle of attack change. You get almost an identical angle of attack number as you do with your regular swing. Yeah. But because you're left and the swing is shorter, you're delivering a lot less loft to the ball. So you're killing about five birds with one stone without having to move all over the place and manipulate the club. So basically you're starting left, staying left and making a regular golf swing. It's yeah. been my experience that the more you make your golf swing, and so well, my golf swing stinks. Still, if you, the more you make your golf swing on these specialty shots, the more success you're going to have. All right. You also, in our first location before we moved on, you asked me to grab my lowest lofted club, which is hidden behind this tree. So th this is my, well, my lowest lo lofted iron that I have. So right. th this this is a four iron. So you know we're still in the trees here, but this would be like you're on a tight hole. Yeah. Okay. You don't need to bomb it off the tee. You just need to get it in play, mm -hmm. and the wind's coming straight at oh, you. Oh, so this is more like the shot that, uh, yeah, like a tiger, a tiger's. Like, Absolutely. What now, he does. you will see high-level players not do it exactly the way I'm describing, but they're hot. Yeah. I never talk in terms of right and wrong in the golf swing. I talk in terms of easier. Okay. Okay. This is much easier to hit the low stinger iron on a tight hole into the wind. Okay. Same so, technique. So this is like off the tee? Yeah. All right, I brought a tee. So I'm going to put it on a little bit of a baby tee here. Help myself out just a little bit. Just like it's on a tee. Yeah, because I was talking to Scott Stallings, and the interesting thing about that is when he hit this, uh, it became an Instagram viral video of it was like the extreme thing. He puts it like up where the driver goes. Yeah, when he gets that absolutely. Shot. Yeah. So yeah, I'm on a little bit of a baby tee. It's about three wood ball position. And then I'm going to put how much? About 90%? No, no, no. Like 60, 40, okay. 70, 30 is a good number. Okay, yeah, 70, 30, I like that. Yeah. And then left, and it's just the same thing, right? Yep. So I'm left, stay left, go left. Right. 
Left, stay left, get left. Oh, nice. beautiful shot. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, three yard draw and just pummeled. So again, you didn't, I mean, the ball's really far back in your stance. That's just a non-starter in my opinion. Yeah, just don't do okay? it. The rest of the yeah. stuff, the, the, the three left thing allows you to make your regular golf swing mm -hmm. and still keep the ball down. Okay, we're gonna move on to our second position. I'm just gonna hit one more shot. Just that, we kind of bake it in a little bit. So I'm, it, it's up forward in my stands. Left, stay left, go left. Left, stay left, go left. And then just do it. And you know, you, awesome. yeah. even though you're trying to stay left as the second right. left, you're absolutely yeah. moving a little. Yeah, yeah. You, so I just want to be clear on this. Yeah, you, you got to figure out your own personal feeling real right. right. So uh, the first left is you start with more weight left. That's straightforward. But the staying left, you're not trying to do this. The feel of staying left is just to avoid that big mass shift to the right. Yeah. Now the ball's all the way up there. You got no chance. Right. So I've measured this with a body track. When people try to stay left, so if we start 70-30 left, and I say stay there, people will shift slightly and go to about 50-50, and that's what we're looking for. Well, there's the weight of your arms and the club and everything. Absolutely. Too. I just wanted to be really, yeah. really clear that I'm not saying go like this. Right, right. You know, right. that's, because that's. All right, we're gonna move to our second location right now. Right. Works pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, that was great. Thanks for watching, guys. Each one of these stations took a little longer to film than I thought, which is good because we got a really good in-depth explanation of each shot and how to simply make it a lot better in your game. And I think they're really a cool, exciting things. To see them, make sure that you're subscribed. So hit the subscribe button and the new one will pop up in your feed. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you later, bye.